want to thank you all for coming out here. And I just want to kind of walk you through why we're here and what this is. And, you know, my grandpa, he started Con Air in 1959 in Brooklyn. It's a family business. And we kind of grew up in the industry. And he pioneered this whole thing. He was an innovator. He cared about the customer brand and recognition. And the only way that felt right to honor him was to do what he would do, which is business. <laughs> create, <laughs> to, create, <laughs> thank you. to create great product and innovation and really carry through with our customer loyalty and integrity and come with some new cool stuff. So a lot of the stuff you're gonna see tonight that Cash is gonna walk you through is multi-purpose, multi-function. It's a couple of things that you know help me get my hair done quicker and there's a parting tool which is really where it all started uh we were at dinner and he i pitched him the idea and he said go make it happen so i was like okay <laughs> so he did so so there's we really wanted to make beautiful quality products that were professional standard and really merge the two worlds because we felt there was a white space in the market between consumer and professional so hopefully we deliver <laughs> but um i'm gonna let <laughs> I'm going to um, hand it off to Cash and let him really talk through all the tools and kind of elaborate on the technical stuff. So, thank you. Hello. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm going to give this to you, actually. Is this for me? Is it on? I think it's for you. Yeah. It is on. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Thank Hi. you guys so much for coming out. Um, she Doesn't she look amazing? <laughs> um, so... I actually, uh, what, what first drew me to uh, Leandro was um, I also started entering the beauty industry in Brooklyn, and uh, I'm very attached to it. I have lived there for the last 11 years, and, um, and just when I saw how much the family cared about the details of carrying on the legacy of someone who put so much into, one, creating the hair dryer for consumers, this is people... We wouldn't have these in our in our uh, bathrooms if it weren't for uh, this man, um, who who cared so much about bringing effective, beautiful tools to consumers, and uh, and just kind of knowing a little bit about that story, um, it just drew me closer to it. And then I looked at the at the products. I love the design. I love the idea of something that looked really good in your bathroom. Um, and everywhere I go, I want my I want my kit and my tools to look. What, look amazing and perform. Um, and I feel that these, these do that. So what we're going to do today with Nina is uh, obviously we're not done. Um, we've is this not it? No, oh. no, yeah, I know. <laughs> although it's a good look, <laughs> although it's a good look, we won't stop here. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you um, some of the stuff that we use to prep her hair. I'm going to show you a couple of hair techniques, uh, a few of the ways that I've been using the tools for the last few months that I've been, um, uh, been using them on my clients. And uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's do it. Okay. So first thing we did was, oh, no, you're, you're good. You're good. Um, I'm going to drop one of these uh, sections of hair, and we're just going to kind of, I'm going to show you guys um, how I went about styling these, these, uh, these pieces. And first of all, she's clipped up right now with these white clips that are um, rubberized. I don't typically use this type of clip because I put it in the hair and it just slips right out. So I need like, you know, a little more powerful uh, grip when I'm working, especially with this much hair. But uh, they put this amazing, really chic matte, uh, a little bit of like rubberized coating on it. So when you put it in the hair, it doesn't go anywhere, which is incredible. Um, I don't want to put clips in people's hair and they just start falling out. Um, so that, that's what's in there right now. Um, we started, uh, we just kind of detangled her hair with the Leandro detangling brush, which I thought was really unique, and they put so much uh, effort and attention to detail in each one of these. What's really cool about this is that um, a lot of detangling brushes, they have small bristles, and small bristles, um, in my experience, do a uh, not as effective job detangling as a large bristle because of the large round surface. So for example, if I pull this through the hair, it's a large round surface, you get absolutely no friction, right? So, and that's what I love about this. Right, yeah, and that, that's what's so important, right? So if I, if I pull this through the hair ever so gently, there's like absolutely no resistance, and I feel like uh, a lot of that is because of the bristle size. I've never seen a detangling brush like that before, so I thought that attention to detail was, was really cool. So we, we gave her a detangling first, and you, uh, your hair actually suffers from a little bit of like tangleage, no? Uh-oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> 
So, so uh, we just went through and prepped with a little bit of product. Um, and I'm going to get this section just a little damp here and show you guys which round brush we chose and why. So you guys can see that there are several uh, different round brushes up here, and each one has a specific purpose. And I feel like there's a lot of talk in makeup about how makeup brushes, the bristles, the fabric, the, uh, you know, the detail that goes into a makeup brush is uh, covered a lot. But I don't feel like hairdressers or consumers know much about the bristles that are actually in their brush and their different uses, like they do their makeup brushes. So we have four different round brushes up here. We actually chose the hybrid, which is uh, which one of my favorites out of this line because it has um, natural bore bristle brushes at a shorter level with nylon bristles in between, which is great for thicker hair that typically uh, isn't going to sink through so a brush that's meant for finer hair, which is really like smoothing, getting static out of the hair and really creating a polish. I really wanted to create a lot of body, but also give myself a little bit of a detangling effect. And what's also cool about this brush is that these plastic edges kind of hurt sometimes, right? They went to the extreme attention to detail on this and sanded the tips so that there was no, yeah, there's no scratching, <laughs> no scratching surface on here. And it's, it's crazy. I've never, never felt a brush that I feel like so much effort was put into. So. We started drying her hair, and the brush just kind of like went through so smoothly, and it was really cool. We were back, uh, we were backstage, kind of prepping hair, and as I was drying her hair, I was just thinking to myself, like, the very fact that I am drying her hair like this, and I'm able to do this remote and not have some huge machine, is because of the same guy who, who this line is named after. It was really cool just to be so connected to uh, the history of hair. So we pulled through. You guys can obviously see, like, it gave just an amazing polish on her hair. Um, and so that's why we chose the hybrid brush, the, uh, the one that really gets through this texture of hair. So the reason I didn't use these is because this one I would use on a little bit of finer texture of hair, whereas if I'm trying to take big sections, this boar bristle is a little tighter on the end. So I don't, you guys obviously can't see it from here, but the... Uh, where the boar bristles spout from the brush is pretty concentrated. So the hair really rests on top of it and it pulls tightly in between those. And that is really uh, a powerful smoothing tool uh, for finer to medium textures. These, you guys have seen uh, you know, brushes similar to this before. What's really cool is the bristles on this are really, really fine and flexible. So typically I'll find myself a lot of times trying to use these brushes and it'll just, you'll hear this and you're just, ripping through <laughs> your client's hair. And I feel like these brushes didn't do that because they just kind of forgive as you pull through the hair. And, um, and what I also love is that they have lips on the edges that don't allow hair to fall off. And that's really important to me when I'm, when I'm actually working it, with a section as a professional, I want everything to be clean. I want everything to be perfect every step of the way. And I don't want hair kind of flying all over the place. So I would have used this if she had a little bit of a rougher texture and I wanted to really, really create a huge amount of volume, but she did need some tension and polish. So another reason why we use this, and there's two sizes of those. So the, the next step I'm gonna show you guys, which I haven't done yet, and I'll take a section on the side down right here we'll go ahead and take that down again love these clips is and i'll clip this up just a little bit with one of these larger clips here just going to lift that hair out of the way perfect can you guys see okay cool so another really cool uh really cool tool uh, from the line is the teasing comb and I love this because it's got two layers to work with. I can work with it and kind of detangle a little bit as it's wide tooth on the ends, but I can also really get into the root and create volume. And what I want to do with this hairstyle is create a really large, malleable silhouette. So I'm going to have you tilt your head for me just to the right. Perfect. We're just going to put in some root powder right here at the root. I'm going to take the end of the tail comb, tap that in. We're going to take a section and we're going to do this on both sides. But so I can stop here, put the comb in a little bit and brush something out, or I can put the comb in all the way and back comb and in with just a couple of pushes because of those two different depths and the tension on the smaller comb, I can get really nice lift out of it. Now, 
what I do here to create like larger, really sexy, billowy hair is I'll tease that hair just a little bit and I'll go in with an iron. In this case, this is really beautiful chic iron and just tap at a lower temperature. So I'm not at that 450, which is great. Something really cool about this iron is that the temperature fluctuates uh, by a few degrees. So you can go all the way up to 450 or you can keep that temperature really low. And in this case, I just want to tap those, that uh, little undulation that I created in the hair so that I can later brush this out and it creates a mini crimp at the root, which is a great little trick. You don't have to like have that Dallas tease in your hair all the time, right? So if I send someone to the, <laughs> if, if she's going to like a red carpet or an event or something, I can't send her out there and uh, the wind hits her and all of a sudden there's this huge tease chunk of hair underneath, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I like to tease it, crimp it, and then with the end of the brush, just pull that, pull that tease out, and you still get that really big fluff out of the hair at the root, but you don't have to have the risk of having, like, the Dallas tease showing off. So we would go through and execute this on both sides. So we're just going to drop these side sections here so we can get that volume. I'm going to drop down two bigger sections. Perfect. We'll put that up. And in the meantime, I'd, I dropped one section down that I shouldn't have. So I'm going to take one of these clips. These are really cool. Those and are in the fact, best. right? Yes. I've never seen it, seen these before. And I don't know. I, no one's thought of this before, but the dual sided. Right? Yep. So right? simple and so needed. Absolutely. So uh, I, uh, with the clients. I'm working with, I have to have really high standards of hair. And I can't be putting things in someone's hair that's just going to leave a big dent, you know, and then risk seeing that later and saying, oh, shoot, that was a mistake and my tool has betrayed me. <laughs> so I need to work with tools that I know are not going to betray me. And I thought this was such a cool idea that uh, no one has ever thought of before. It's always got one side that's small and metal, right? Yep. And then one side that's flat. But kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, you get a little bit of that off the front with those other ones, but this one actually pinches the hair well. So I can use it in roller sets. I can use it with, um, with Velcro rollers, which we have in the line as well. And um, I just really thought, I thought that was super smart. And uh, again, another example of the attention to detail, which and I thought was really good. If I do my hair first before doing makeup, those are really practical because you can pin your hair back and not leave a mark and then do your face. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's great for especially working with makeup artists uh -huh. or things like that. Um, yeah, it's absolutely a, a great, great tool. So I'm going to come over here to the left or your right side. Just tap a little bit of heat on that. I'm going to leave it in there, let it cool down a moment. We'll take down a couple of the next sections here. I think you guys will be really pleasantly surprised. Let's hope so. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. All right, so more clips coming down. And I'm going to tease this next section right here that I've got. So we'll take this piece here. Put a little bit of teasing into the root there. And grab our iron and tap in with a little bit of heat. And just giving that, that heat is really what um, is, is setting in the texture. But if you've got a one one temperature iron and you put in 400 degrees on that root, you're just going to get kinks and ugly bends. So you got to be able to just grab all that hair, tap on a little bit of heat and not have to risk damaging the hair or uh, creating unwanted kinks or bends or things like that. So I'm going to come over here, take down a few more pieces. One more section. Almost there, guys. Almost there. And we'll take out our really nice... Did you guys see these clips in the line that I thought were really cool, too? They've put a few of these in here that are, like, almost styling. Like, you could almost wear these, right? Like this one, absolutely. I know there's... Um, my friend Corinne around here, she's got a couple of them in her. Right? So cool. I can't see you, but they're so cute. I love them. Um, I just thought they put so much effort into into the design as well as functionality. So, are. hey, yes, come show them. <laughs> like, so we did this like really cool, like downtown 90s girl hair that's like really undone. And we just have some of the, like, these are so cool, like chromed bobby pins, 
that are really, really simple, and they just have this cool little bend in the, in the middle. I just thought, again, the details were so amazing. And we put these little clips in, which I thought were such a cool look. So, yeah, beautiful, right? Thank yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> you guys, give her a round of applause. She just got... <laughs> okay, so we are almost to the finish line here. We're going to tease up a couple more sections. Apply that heat. Amazing. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn you around, and I'm going to drop the hair to the back. So I'm going to spin the chair. You tell me where. Have a seat right there. We're going to drop all your hair to the back. And I'm going to show you guys how I brush out her hair with some of these brushes over here. So we're going to drop. Oh, good. So do I. <laughs> All right, so we're going to drop these remaining sections and just take these clips. And you notice, like, as I'm pulling these clips out, I'm not catching hair, right? There's, there's a lot of clips out there that have a ridge at the bottom that as you pull the clip out, it's like, ow, 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 you know? And then you, after you've lost 10 more hairs, you, you throw it down, kind of <laughs> pissed off at it, um, right? As much as they, they have a great grip, but also, like, they're a clip that just slides out of the hair, which, uh, which I really felt was like, look at that. No catching or anything like that. Cute. Yes, that's important. You don't want to put yourself or others through clip pain or hair loss. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I brush this out. So I am going to use the boar bristle brush, which, so I love this brush. It's, it's different um, than this one here. And the difference is that, um, well, one, it's a paddle brush. And the design has a couple of really cool benefits. So, like I said earlier, the, the larger and rounder the surface that we are uh, parting the hair with or, or drawing through, the less likely you are to create friction, right? And I just put that right into the middle of a tease, and it still pulled it out pretty well. So, as you put this through the hair, you guys can see, like, it just pulls right through. And that's why I feel like parting with something like this is much better. You're causing much less friction and breakage than you are dragging a clip through the hair or uh, a fine tooth tail comb. Because if you bring hair, all hairs, to a tiny point, what happens as you drag something through it, right? It kinks the hair and creates friction. And friction is one of the leading, most unknown, like unrecognized, I feel like, causes of breakage. You know, I know you girls get out there. You flip your hair over like this and you go, whack, 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 whack. Am I right? <laughs> right? That's like, oh, I don't know. Why is it breaking? And I, I, I tell girls all the time, like, how are you brushing your hair? How are you brushing your hair? Yeah, uh, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so instead of the whack, 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 whacking away at the hair, we always want to start from the bottom. And what's really cool is that these bristles fan out just a tad more, allowing more hair through the brush. So go ahead and look up for me. Great job, Nina. Th that was amazing. It was a really tough Th yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people who haven't. <laughs> so we're just going to keep brushing out. And normally we'd see a ton of static. It's the middle of winter. And I just love this brush because you guys can see, like, the polish is incredible. Go ahead and put your chin down. Uh, I'm going to grab. I'm going to pull through with some finishing cream. And this was all done, you guys. This round brushing was done with the hybrid brush over there that is the mixture of the boar bristle and the nylon. And you go ahead and look up, move your head back and forth. You guys can see like the shine and the polish we got out of this was, oh yes, Ooh. hey, you've done this before. <laughs> Let's turn you around. All right. Have a seed, finishing touches, guys. So, yeah, yeah so for detailed styling, I'm just gonna grab this brush. I really like this one. It's got two layers of bristles right? And really, really gentle. So one, if I want to be gentle and kind of shape hair and not dig too deep into my structure or my volume, I don't want to go all the way to the root. I can kind of just drag it across the top and really give, give myself some, some more control. So you guys can see how much lift we got off of her edges here. It's pretty incredible that we can get that much lift. with just a little bit of teasing with that comb and a little bit of heat so let's go ahead and push your hair forward. You guys want to take a look at what we did? Round brushing hair. 
What do you guys think? Right, incredible head of hair, right? Amazing. Yeah, no, nah, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so just coming through, getting finishing details. And what I like to do sometimes is um, just take my boar bristle brush and just spray a light layer of some polish right across the top. Yeah, yeah. And you guys will see a, see a difference right when we pull through this. You guys can see the light just kind of like reflecting off. So pull through that, just kind of calming down. If we do have any flyaways, really giving your hair that final, like, you know, red carpet glamorous finish. Or white carpet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Beautiful hair, my goodness. All right, you guys. Th thank you so much for coming and checking out Leandro. What an incredible attention to detail in this line. I'm super excited about it. Um, do you guys have any questions for us about, uh, about the line? Anything? Now's your chance. Yeah, gosh. Give me one. Oh, yes, the parting tool. Okay. I didn't show you the parting tool, and I want to. Um, all right. Okay, so this is really cool. I actually have a, have a, when I heard about this tool, I was like, ah, oh, I could have used that. I did a, a client of mine for a red carpet, and she was like, the parting has to be super perfect and super clean, like razor sharp and like dead center. Uh, that's part of the look. And then we're going to make it really, really sleek and clean. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get in front of her, and I've got like my, yeah, yeah, well, that's the job, right? <laughs> so I get in front of her, and I'm like, okay, is that center? She's in the mirror. It's like, no. And I was like, okay. What about that? And I was like dead certain it was center. Um, I was like, honey, I think, I think it's center already. Um, so after two hours, we finally thought we got it center. Uh, center to the red carpet, and I was watching the event on TV, and I just said, well, shit, it wasn't center. <laughs> so no. I know, I know. So when I, when I heard about this tool, I was like, oh, man, I really could have used that. And this is really something cool, and it's a little personal. Um, because the creator of this line had <laughs> a real frustration with creating a center part. And I know that is a serious struggle and I, because it took me a long time to learn how to do a great center part myself. So she created this headband, which you can not only do a center part with in like five seconds, you can do side parts as well. Yeah, so all you do is kind of move this over to the side, pull it through the hair, and you've got a perfect center part. And I'll show you guys how, to how we're going to create a perfect center part. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it better be, right? I can't see, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'll blame it on, right? Okay. So you're going to put the headband on? I can't see up there right now. Is that, uh, is that in front of your hairline? You guys, is that, is that in front of her hairline? Okay. So you're just going to put the headband on, pull it back through the hair, let it sit, and voila, wow. you have wow. a center part. <laughs> Yay! Is it center? It's center! Wow. Yeah! <laughs> I wasn't even looking this time. That's amazing. Great question. Yeah, I actually totally forgot to talk about this, and it was one of my favorites. Anything else? Yes? You guys can purchase these products on Ulta, uh, ultabeauty.com. Is that correct? Ulta.com. Ulta.com. We'll actually be in stores second week of February. Um, yeah! <laughs> yes. Congratulations. So, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And yes, yeah, so just follow us. We're at Leandra Limited. Um, ha you can hashtag it, hashtag Beauty Born in Brooklyn. Thank you guys so much for coming out here thank and you. being part of this. Thank yeah. you, guys. Congratulations. <laughs>